Greetings, greetings, greetings. Just shedding some light on a few things that need to shed light on when it comes to sickness. Why people sick? If you eat wrong, you are gonna sick. If you drink wrong, you are gonna sick. If you do something wrong against the will and the law of your creator, you are gonna sick. How do you get rid of these things? Well, it's simple. I know nothing technical. God the Almighty make things simple, simple city. There's so much medium and system created to get rid of sickness. Thousands of them. But there's something that is being overlooked. And that is what and the right way or you get rid of your sickness. You notice when you put food in your mouth, you could call that ingestion. When you travel, call that digestion. And then you have excretion. A, a three stage simplicity. You don't want to keep wasting your body too long. God create havoc in your body and your brain, your blood, your limp, your endocrine, all over. But the reality is, when it's time to get rid of it, there's so much system and mediums and ideas and ideologies how to get rid of sickness. But it's simple. This is a constitution to eat and to eliminate, to move waste. So when you eat food, wrong food, because most people eat wrong food, 90% of the world eat wrong. When you eat food, how you get rid of it? Defecate, urinate, sweat. So the sunlight come to electrify your body, likewise the earth. So you're going on the sunlight exercise or working on the sunlight. That's why the body has to work. By the sweat you eat. <laughs> the missus is the Bible. And it's a reality because the body has taken in enough sunlight to generate electricity. The air is there also to extract from it for your lungs work good. Just like when you have AC for your breathe good in your house. The first AC is the air. The element itself provides life force. We kind of run out of it, but we need it. So you get waste by defecation, urination, and sweat. The pores, them open, wastewater come out. All who have edema, heart problem, them need to sweat. Them body toxic. You understand me? Exercise is excellent. So these are the ways you get rid of sickness. Simple. Go defecate, go urinate, go sweat. And that is why they might provide these plants. This is a tree, right being a tree. We use herbs overall, millions of them there, what you can find and drink them. You know, we have systems set up other ways, but you have to ask the question, has it ever worked for you? If you've been sick 20, 30, 40 years and you can't get to that sickness, that means you're taking the wrong route. It's time now to go to the right route. Every direction may have three and four different ways to get there but there is always a specific route where you need to go upon you see you have a look upon what they call discouragement and distraction when people discourage you from your path it simply means you don't have your own mind you can't think for yourself and when people distract you from your path you know, have your own mind. It did it, but it's not active. You now use it at will. So we look upon it good and we realize say, people don't know how to heal because they now got a bathroom. How oh, you going to get rid of sickness? This is why you have a, 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 a digestive system, excretory system to push out waste. Most people eat three meals per day. How much time you got a bathroom for one day? At least three times you should have go if you ate three meals. I saw it for go. Because if you don't let up back, my mind of the body now take up a piece of meat out of your belly. You know. It take the juice 
from it. The body only accepts liquid meal. God, the body never created for tear meat like in you know, a carnivore animals. No, we never make for that. We are fruitarian by right. If you really check what the Holy Book said, you know, if you are cooked, then cook food or digest pretty much not three in three days, but in maybe a day and a half. And it only digests if you don't put another meal upon it. You know, that is why we find out in you know, my little knowingness why people dead quick, you know, at 50, 55, 60, 75, 80, 95, 100 people start mash up. People say 100 years is long, but it's not long compared to our ancestors. You know, because we start eating wrong and not getting out the food we eat wrong. We start drinking wrong and that wastewater is so detrimental to the system it mingles with the cerebral spinal fuel and it needs to mingle with it and cause disruption. Now you have all type of wastewater lag and a store and a drain into other systems. So if we can find a way and the way is there the path is there. Everything have a process in life. And everything in life have a way how you do it. But somebody give a new idea how to approach it. And in most cases, when you go outside of the, of the, of the reality that was set by the Creator, you are going to look up. Simple one, two, three, A, B, C. That's it. You have to know the root of a drive man. Just like in the sky with the plane. Them, them have them root. If them try to go east, west, north, or south outside of them route, they're gonna look up in the that plane. Them have a root. There's a good route and there's always a bad route. If you try to take shortcut, you might find yourself in a problems. People is into quick fix. Anytime you try to do things too fast, too quick, you lick up. If you take far tears, you get sick. And most people born sick. You never take far tears to get better. You can get better in a couple of months or maybe a year, year and a half. But if you try to cut that in a week or a month, you will lick up because a far tear the problem did it. It is simple like that. You will get rid of the problem in a, a um, two month, three month, four month. Depends on how detrimental your sickness really is. But if you try to quick fix it, because you want to hop and running, you're going to face the consequence. That's all I got to say. Bless upon yourself.